State lawmakers are now demanding change and some answers about the higher rate of thyroid cancer in two zip codes in Mooresville. Anchor Brittany Johnson broke this story in a nine investigation months ago, but now she's learned some local leaders are concerned with the lack of action at the state level. I introduced you to Susan Wind in April. She's a local mother who has raised more than $100,000 for research, all to learn why her daughter and so many of her neighbors have been diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Well, now there are questions about why the state didn't ring the alarm earlier. We told you the state confirmed that data from 2012 to 2016 from the North Carolina Central Cancer Registry found Iredell County's rate of thyroid cancer was higher than the state's average. And the bulk of those cases are in two zip codes, 2811 and 28117. During that time period, data shows there were 191 cases in Iredell County, between two and three times higher than expected in those two zip codes. Today, Representative John Fraley told me some leaders were disappointed to learn the state had the data showing the county's higher than average rate, but didn't say anything until after Wynn started pushing for answers. With big data being the way that it is now, I don't understand why you can't program all of this uh, data that when you have an abnormality like this, that it doesn't pop up on someone's screen. He says the state explained its system is set up to communicate with counties about rates of the most prevalent cancers. And while thyroid cancer is the fastest growing cancer, it is not among the most common. Fraley says that when the legislature goes back into session, they need to discuss making changes that will allow counties to get information on concerning health trends faster. He says a group of health officials and county leaders have been meeting regularly, and they should announce their steps, their next steps in this investigation next week.